Now let's talk about what's happening here in the U.S. Recovery efforts underway in the southeast as that region is still reeling from deadly Hurricane Helene. The death toll rising to at least 64 people. 33 more are still missing in one Tennessee county. Right now, more than 2.5 million customers remain without power across six states. As many areas grapple with floodwaters, one of the hardest hit is western North Carolina. We have team coverage this morning. News Nation's Mills Hayes is in South Carolina right now surveying the damage. And reporter Kelly Getz with News Nation affiliate WJHL, who is live in Tennessee. Ladies, good morning. Thank you for getting up and getting us these updates. Mills, I do want to start with you. You've been traveling through the region. What damage are you seeing where you are in upstate South Carolina? Hey, good morning, Hina. Well, you can see behind me this massive tree trunk that fell over because of the hurricane. And to give you some perspective, I'm 5'4". So the fact that it goes all the way up, it seems almost in unimaginable that Mother Nature could make this just completely rip out of the ground and fall over. But this is really the scene we're seeing all across the upstate here in South Carolina. These huge trees just falling down all over the place. And what makes that worse is when they fall on power lines. That's something we've also seen uh, pretty much all throughout the day here in Anderson County. Specifically, more than 66% of the people that live in this area are actually without power right now. And and that's very difficult. That means you can't keep any kinds of food in the house. You can't have air conditioning. And you really have to rely on those generators if you need power. I mentioned how there really are trees down everywhere. There's one over there as well. I want to show you another one, too, if we can, over to my left. We're in front of a business, actually. This is a manufacturer that makes technology equipment. And over here, there is a massive tree that is blocking people from actually getting in to this area over here. Anderson County hit very, very hard, and we even spoke with some people uh, who lost someone because of this storm, and they say that this was something that they never could have predicted. They were listening to the warnings about the hurricane, but never could have predicted that it would be this bad. Hannah? And the wind gust it took to t take down those huge trees mills. Thank you for showing that to us on the ground. Kelly, I want to move on to you. You are in Tennessee, another area that has been hit very hard by Helene. We mentioned dozens are still missing. What updates are you hearing on recovery? And of course, we were talking about the dangers of the dam flowing in Tennessee. Well, we're going to have an update at 10 a.m. from officials here in Unicoi County, Tennessee, on those missing persons and some confirmed deaths. They gave some details yesterday, but not too many. And the dam at the time is secure. It is stable. We are thankful for that, and we are keeping an eye on that situation. I want to show you exactly what we're dealing with here. Now, she said she was in Anderson County. That's about three hours away. We're not too far. This is I-26 completely closed down, a main vein into the region. That's the exit 40 sign. You could see all the way down there. THP, the Tennessee Highway Patrol, they have been blocking the on and the off ramps, but really they don't need to because we've got some natural road blocks there when it comes to all the debris in the roadway. I do want to show you over here just to put into a sense of understanding for the gravity of the situation, how strong these winds and these waters were right here. This was the guardrail here on I-26, and it is just completely mangled. That's pretty strong metal that they have on the side of these highways, and it's just a dangerous situation. Debris like this, people are going to be picking up for probably months to come. For people who are in the impacted areas, whether you're here in Tennessee or you're over in South Carolina, North Carolina, you want to be careful when it comes to picking up the debris. You're going to get sick. You're going to have all of the just the damage. I mean, you can kind of smell the mold and the rot already because we had some hot weather over the past few days and it is going to be a recovery process for sure. But again, we are going to be updating everybody at 10 a.m. We'll be live streaming that on our website, WJHL.com, if you'd like to join us for an update on what's happening here in Unicoi County, Tennessee. But for now, reporting live, I'm Kelly Getz. Yeah, certainly a long road to recovery. Mills Hayes, Kelly Getz, thank you so much, ladies. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.